A. Ryan, owner of Ryan Hotels, the visionary who transformed the Hindenburg into the monument to aeronautical luxury it is today. Ooh, yay, Krepsy. Or Crispo. Okay, let's go. Where am I going? We are going up high. Holy shit, high. There's a card right there. Scared of heights? Since I was a kid, I like to keep my feet on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> that makes two of us. I'm just a friendly guy. If you need a paper bag, I have one. Thing go. That's a good question. The clouds. That better not be the Hindenburg. If it is, we're all fucked. That is cool though. Ah, oh! that's epic. That's really cool. Got a niche. Okay, I'm good. No, I've been playing a lot of like action games to. Um, and I'll just, I want to sit back and relax and do something like this every now and then. We'll be uploading this to YouTube, but since I have strikes against me, I'm going to have to do here and there. There's going to be a lot of parts. So I can only do about 15 minutes each. Where am I? Okay, that's cool. So, can I just... Can, do, <laughs> get catch me! <laughs> I'm afraid I can't come with you. Thanks for the pie. But Welcome to the Grand Hindenburg Hotel. My name is Susan, and I'm glad to be of service. Your name, please? Sure. Ness. Elliot Ness. Thank you, Mr. Ness. Nice choice. Sounds genuine. And now, how can I help you? I'm here to see Mr. Capone. There's no Mr. Capone here, Mr. Ness. Mm. Listen, Susan. I don't know if he signed in as Mr. Capone, Mr. Scarface, or Satan himself, but I know he's here. And now you're going to tell me which room he's in. Well, you're going to have a problem on your hands. He's... he's in the presidential suite. Top floor at the end of the red carpet. Thank you, Susan. Have a pleasant stay at the Grand Hindenburg Hotel, Mr. Ness. Mr. Ness! Alright, sweet. Oh, I gotta look. I gotta look. Your attention, please. The cable car to Santa Esperanza what leaves in three minutes. kind of person can afford this kind of luxury? Shit. You think it's going to be a quiet day, and suddenly, the storm hits you? Yes, it does. I don't even know how long I've been playing. I'm kinda got... I'm like, I really just hooked on this game as it is. Which is really nice. Wait, where am I going? This way? Yeah, 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 yeah. So... That is cool. What if I kick the glass right now? Okay. <laughs> Wanna see Capone? Oh. 
your attention, please. The cable car to Santa Esperanza leaves in two minutes. Why does Capone want me? A. Ryan, owner of Ryan Hotels, the visionary who transformed the Hindenburg into the monument to aeronautical luxury it is today. The blimps didn't actually last that long, if you really think about it. Fireworks! Love fireworks. The cleaners up here deserve every cent they make. I wouldn't do it for all the money in the world. That would be creepy. Fireworks. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. don't remember the last time I did that because <laughs> you didn't Mark Christmas Christmas am I ever gonna get my Come drink on. really I'll never get my drink I will never I really want it but I'll never get it laughing a lot during sex. It's kind of sad. <laughs> I really did like this. This game is really interesting. Got a whole fucking greenery in here. Holy crap. What happened here? <laughs> Nothing to worry about, my good man. What happens on the Hindenburg stays on We're the on the Hindenburg! Hindenburg. We're gonna die. Somebody died. Are you saying the law doesn't apply here? We're too high up, my good man. The law has always preferred to look down. You never had problems with the police? Oh, many a one, my good man. In fact, what I'm cleaning up is today's first problem. Oh, God. Um... How can you work in a place like this? <laughs> you don't want to know where I worked before this, my good man. Alright, well, mm, touche. Continue on. Cleaning up today's Japanese guard. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's so pretty! It's so pretty! Is there koi fish? Is there koi fish? I can't really see because everything's black and white. Is there koi fish? Is there koi fish? Come on, koi fish, 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 koi fish. Oh, 
<laughs> if it wasn't for my habit of checking all possible exits when I walk into the lion's den, I'd be a dead man. Yes, you would. should be rotting in jail. That's exactly what I've been doing for the last 19 and a half years. You'll be surprised what a little good behavior can do for a person. Yeah, not gonna ask me for my last words this time. I'm a lot closer to death than when I last saw you. Yes, you are. You look like shit. You. Why did you ask me here? Why did you come? I wanted to see if you'd improved with age. I'm glad to see the answer's no. <laughs> when you said rot in jail, you really meant it, huh? Look, uh, I didn't ask you here to find out who's got the snappiest comebacks. I want to hire you. What? I require your services as a detective. I don't know what your game is. But if your plan was to surprise me, you've succeeded. Look, Ness. My granddaughter Sophia has been kidnapped. When what happened to my son, Vittorio, I, uh, I put her in a boarding school. She was entered under a false surname, Colombo. Nobody knows who she is. Nobody? Well, eh, only Milton. The man who brought you here, I trust him completely. Two days ago, a guy turned up at the boarding school. He introduced himself as Guido Colombo, the girl's uncle, and her new legal guardian. He said her parents had just died in a tragic automobile accident. He produced all the relevant papers, driver's license, the custody document supposedly made out by the father, the death certificates. He uh, explained away the fact that the girl didn't know him by saying he moved to Seattle before she was born. Any clues? Nah. Well, Sophia was wearing a blue dress with flowers that I personally ordered for her from Italy. Uh, she was also wearing white ballet shoes with daisies embroidered on them. As for the guy, the school principal said he was tall and slim, uh, in his 50s. No particular accent. Black hair, no beard, no glasses. Well dressed. Could be anyone. But I know he was hired by one of my old associates. Someone wants to finish me once and for all. Hmm. Maybe they want control of what's left of my organization. Maybe they hate my guts. And I thought I was the only one who still hated you after 20 years. What else have you got? I got this. And I got you. You don't have me. My place is at my diner. And your girl's not there. Huh. So where should I be looking? Mm. You were the biggest boss in the Mafia. And by the looks of this place, you didn't lose everything. Why don't you ask one of your subordinates for help? You don't listen, do you? The kidnapper was hired by one of my men. One of the people I trust. So why me? Twenty years ago, I pushed you to the edge. I bought your friends and killed the ones who couldn't be bought. I got you so obsessed with me that your wife ended up leaving you. When you had nothing left, you walked into my house, shot my bodyguards, and pointed a gun at me. You couldn't mm -hmm. kill me. Yes, I could have. But you chose to restrain yourself. You even gave my son a lecture on ethics. You're the only honest man I know. Hmm. <laughs> I'll do it. Not for you. For her. I knew 